Good evening and welcome to another episode of Maths in an Empty Classroom with me, Mr Sun. This is part one of the second lesson on geometric sequences and in this video I'm going to be talking about sums to infinity. Okay, so first of all let's consider the series 9 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1 third plus 1 ninth plus 1 over 27 plus 1 over 81. And let's just have a think about what R is for these, this sequence. What are we multiplying each term by to get the next number in the sequence? Well, you may be looking at that and thinking, oh, we're dividing by 3, which is true, but that is the same as multiplying by 1 third. So the common ratio of this series is 1 third. But let's just have a think about what's going to happen to these terms as we continue through the sequence. 1 third, 1 ninth, 1 over 27, 1 over 81. So these terms that we're adding on are getting smaller and smaller as we move further through the sequence. Eventually I'm going to get to a point where the number that I'm adding on is so small that it makes so little difference to the total of the sequence that actually we're not worried about it at that point. And it's sequences like this, geometric series like this, that have a sum to infinity. So a theoretical sum that you get past a certain number of terms you're getting to this number. Now, if this, this sequence, that will work very well because what you're doing is you're multiplying by a number that's less than one, which means that the terms are getting smaller. Um, if you're multiplying by um, a number that's greater than one, the terms keep getting bigger, there is no sum to infinity because you keep adding on bigger and bigger and bigger numbers. Uh, so if, for example, you were going to be doing 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8, where you're doubling each time, the numbers you're adding on are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and therefore there is no sum to infinity, the sum keeps getting bigger. Whereas this one here, the sum is going to get closer and closer to a given value, um, and we're going to explore um, how that works. Now, the rule for sum to infinity is a over 1 minus r, uh, but crucially, r has to be what we actually write. We write that the magnitude of 1, so the value, the, the magnitude of r, I should say, the value of r has to be less than 1. What that actually means is that the value of r has to be between negative 1 and 1. Basically, it has to be a fraction. So this one is fine. This sequence, we would have a sum to infinity because r is 1 third. This sequence here, we would not have a sum to infinity because r would be 2, which is bigger than 1. Now you may be looking at that and thinking, that looks awfully similar to the sum to n terms, and it is awfully similar, because the sum to n terms is a times 1 minus r to the n uh, over 1 minus r. Now, let's just think about how you get to this, sorry, to this from this. If r is a small number, and you raise it to a really big power, it's going to get closer and closer to zero. So what's actually going to happen is, this value here gets closer and closer to zero, which means that this bracket gets closer and closer to one. So the series, the sum of the series, tends to a times one, over one minus r, which what we have here. So that's where it comes from. Uh, more importantly is um, how to use it. So uh, if, for example, uh, we had a uh, geometric series uh, where a equaled 1 and r equaled 1 half, and we were asked to find the sum to infinity, uh, all we would do is we would use the sum to infinity formula, which is a over 1 minus r, uh, which in this case would be 1 over 1 minus a half, uh, which would be 2. And what we can do is, if we write a few terms of that sequence out, you can see really nicely where that 2 comes from. So the first term is 1, we would then be adding a half, adding a quarter, adding 1 eighth, etc, etc, etc. So if you thought about this in terms of um, circles, if I draw two circles out, your first term 1 is like shading in a whole one. We would then have a half 
shade in, and then a quarter, and then an eighth, and then a sixteenth. And what you're hopefully seeing is the more terms that we add, we're going to get closer and closer and closer to two holes shading those two um, solid circles. Now it isn't technically ever going to quite reach two, um, but it's going to get so close to it that we say the sum to infinity is two, and that's job done.